In my opinion, the number one thing that we as parents can do to help our kids escape the negative influence of the media is not what you might think it would be at first. It is not to shield them from it. It is not to hide the magazines if they are looking at them. It's not to not let them go to the movies. Don't hide them from it. Dialogue about it. Dialogue about it. Intentionally dialogue about it. Bring home a magazine that has images in it that you might know are you know, causing a lot of discussion among people. You know, maybe it's a celebrity who's underweight and there's all this stuff going on about it, or maybe it's just a fashion magazine. Pull that thing out and go through it with your kids and ask them, what are the messages that are being conveyed here? What do you think when you see this? If you can dialogue with them about that, then they're developing a critical mind. They're able to really make decisions on their own about whether to listen to what the media is saying or not. Now that might be step two for some of you. Step one might be you dealing with how you react to the negative images in the media. Because until you can think critically about what the media is projecting and about what is truth and what is false, then you're not going to be able to really convey that truth to your kids. So first check your own heart, you know, do you look at those magazines and allow them to manipulate you into unhealthy practices or into unhealthy thoughts? Do you make comments that judge yourself against what you're seeing in the magazines? How are you modeling a healthy body image? And once you get that all sorted out, or you might already have that sorted out, then bring it to your kids, dialogue about it, get them to develop critical minds to challenge the lies of the media.